Thank you very much, Shazad, and uh, welcome back, oh. Roshan. Well, you know, you often hear it said that uh, winning when you're not playing at your very best is the hallmark <laughs> of champions, but I think Lion City Sailors stretched the definition of it today. What a game of football. For me, the best game of football of the weekend. It's only had one goal in it, but the quality was incredible. I mean, Lion City Sailors, I think, mm. are very fortunate to win this one. Um, Let's pick these stats look apart, at the Roshan. It's a tale of two halves to an extent, right? Yeah, to an extent. I mean, the Lion City Sailors were slightly better in the second half, but they were so poor in the first. I mean, they didn't really need much mm. to, to show an improvement. Um, and I think a lot of things went against Stampanese Rovers in this match. I yep. think they exerted a lot of control in this one. And it's one of those results, they'll look back at it and they'll think, uh, they'll feel hard done by. Yeah, the stats don't tell the story. These highlights will. First of all, it was early on. It was Kopitovic striking the post. He couldn't get much more on the shot, and they could have had another stab at that one. We showed these at half time, and but for you know a, a one effort for Lion City Sailors, which we'll show you from uh, Kim Chinook, it, it really should have been goals plural for yeah. Japanese, shouldn't it? Uh, it's such good opportunities, and yes, Lion City Sailors. I said this at the time. They have these individual players that quality to change the game. Um, and just in these in, in these moments, warning signs for Tampanese Rovers. But they had opportunities, Tampanese Rovers, in the first half to really kill the game off. We saw Kopitovic there early on, just in the opportunity before this. Mm. Some good work from Taufik down the left-hand side, and he was so good with his movement in those positions. Yase Hanapi here uh, with an opportunity, difficult angle. Amiral did well to get himself back on the line to clear the danger. But they were getting in behind the Lion City Sailors' defense for fun. They were controlling the tempo of the game in possession. Uh, defensively, they weren't troubled, really. Uh, and they just couldn't take their chances, make the most of their opportunities. I mean, have a look at this one. There's so much time for them in the box to exchange passes. Kopitovic and Mamedovic in those situations. Good but work I don't from want them exchanging passes in the They're box, Roshan. And I think off. Gavin Lee might have to look back at this. And we saw it in the second half. Sometimes over-elaboration was a problem. So, on we go to the second half. Was that a foul? Play went on. It, it should have been a foul. Two arms up from Diego Lopez. Uh, an obvious shove in the back of Kyoga Nakamura. There's, there's, there's good pace behind the shot from Diego Lopez. Look at that. I mean, that should have been a foul. That should have been a free kick to Tampanese Rovers. It's things like that that have gone against them uh, in this match. And it's so frustrating when you're a Stags player mm. to, again, sort of the way that they played. It, it was an impressive performance from This them. is the big moment in the game as it turns out then. So look at Chris Verheusen there, who puts it, I think he might kick into the ground slightly before he comes up and, and gets the ball. Maybe, maybe that's what the referee sees Yeah, there. I mean, to, to give the referee the benefit here, he's, he's in a much better position. He's got a better view of this. I'm looking at this from where we're mm. seeing it, right? Mm. From behind uh, sort of the ball, behind the action. And from my point of view, when I saw it first time, I thought that's a good challenge. You know, he's made contact with the ball. That's why it's gone in that direction. That's why it's gone out for what I thought would have been a corner. But the referee's in a great position there. He gives a penalty. He keeps, yeah. you know, quality on the penalty. He puts that one away. No problem. Full of confidence. But again, when you think about decisions and refereeing, mm. look at the encroachment. Yeah. There. Yeah. It's right, right in, front in front of the, the referee. referee as well. So well, we're going to talk about the officials a little bit more because as this one wore on, it was a question of would Tampanese finally be able to find a way through? Well, they felt they, they had done. And a couple of times we got into situations where there were chances, half chances. And in the end, it came down to a couple of big calls, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. And, and I was just sort of getting excited to jump in here because I wanted to take this quicker, mm. quicker, mm. have yeah. a shot instead of a cross. Well, that's the elaboration once again. And, yeah. and they were guilty of just taking that extra touch, that extra beat, weren't they? Then we get on to the, the moments of true controversy here. Fascinating one, this in terms of the decision-making process of the officials here. Yeah. Fist cleared up by Hassan Sani. Yasser Hanapi is behind the goalkeeper, but it was actually uh, Manoj Gawani, the, the assistant on this side, <laughs> who raised his flag. Why? Look, uh, he's obviously decided um, in his view of that situation that Yasser Hanapi is in the way. There's no problem here. Cross comes in, he's on site, no issue. Mm. It's his second phase that comes in. He thinks Yase Hanapi is interfering with the play, getting advantage by being in offside position, preventing Hassan Sani we'll from making the save. In there. a moment, this was uh, Mehmedovic with a beautiful overhead, squirms underneath Hassan Sani. This time, I, on the replays, maybe, maybe this one was off. I mean, this was a, a really close call, really close call. We got, can't really tell from this angle. Lovely uh, finish from Mehmedovic, wonderful quality on that. But here, have a look at this. Have a look at this. Oh, it's such a close call. Great. At, Roshan, I want to go back to the other one. I want to yep. go back to the other one because I think that needs more clearing up. Should the referee not be able to take on board the advice from his assistant and say, yeah, okay, I get that, but where I was, no interference, 
I, he I'm should have. Uh, he should have. You know, this is where officials work as a team and mm. they communicate with each other. Mm. So there's, there's, there's communication between them. And sometimes, you know, you have to understand as well where Jensen is standing. He's not going to get that view yeah. that his assistant referee is yeah. going to have. Yeah. So he's probably just trusting the assistant referee to make the decision. He's given him that trust. He's saying, you, you looked at it. You're saying that in your, in your mind, your decision is that he's interfering with the play. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to disallow. We're going to chalk it off. My view, I'm not a referee. I'm just a pundit giving my analysis. Mm. My opinion is that that should be a goal. There's yep. no way Yase is affecting the play. In yep. fact, he tries to yep. actually duck out of that situation. Yep. And I think you'll find a lot of people there at Jalan Basar today were of that opinion. But it stands. It was decision made yep. uh, by the referee. It stands. And as a result, it's a victory for Lion City Sailors. If we round up what we've seen this weekend as a whole, it was, in terms of goals, uh, at face value, the, the least exciting and entertaining. But as Roshan said just now, it was anything but. <laughs> um, let's start off with Haugang United with Andre Moritz's remarkable piece of vision to beat Geelang International to pick up their first victory this season. Tanjong Paga United winning for a second time, going to the top of the table, despite conceding three goals in nine first half minutes at one point in that match. Uh, young Lions put up brave resistance, but once they cracked, Alvarez de Gata, who've discovered their scoring touch belatedly this season, uh, put another five goals in, and we've seen a victory for Lions City Sailors against Tampanis Rovers. Now, what does that lead us to? Well, it leads us to a situation where you've got last season's champions and runners-up in second and third. They will meet next week. We'll remind you about that. Tanjong Pagi United, though, well, they've had an amazing start to the season, and they have seven points. And for today's uh, beaten side, Tampanis Rovers, they'll feel that perhaps they should have had more than just the one-point haul they've taken so far this season. Well, here it is, mouth-watering, <laughs> our showpiece match of the weekend well you only have to get along to friday night and it's our ex negata against line city sailors for the first time of their four league meetings this season remember they've met in the aia community shield already that's in jurong east we've got tampanese rovers against haugang united town john parker the league leaders right now against galang international and balestia calsa up against young lines russian a quick word on that <laughs> uh, game at the top it, it, i mean the game at the top brilliant it's all happening on friday night isn't it with yeah. tampanese going up against haugang as well i mean incredible friday night it's the friday night football is brilliant in the Singapore Premier League, and we've got two great matches Talk there. about the form of Alberex and Lion City yeah. Sailors. Lion City Sailors got three points today, but would you be concerned for them going into a game against Alberex? I, I would be, and a lot of it depends on um, what happens in the situation in, in training. If players are able to come back, there's not any more disruption in terms of uh, COVID cases, illness in, in the squad, and injuries in the squad. Uh, but they haven't been playing well, the Lion City Sailors. You know, I don't think they've been playing well this season so far. Alberex, on the other hand, are starting to look like they're coming into a rhythm and finding goals and finishing off, uh, 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 finishing off uh, the opportunities. All right, Russia. Thanks very much. So uh, that is incredible um, in terms of the way these fans went through the emotional roller coaster today. But they're celebrating right now because the champions found a way to win. Hope you enjoyed it. See you again soon.